all of these people, remember that you know some in all this category. This really, this slide is to reinforce and help get your brain stimulated that you really do know a lot of people, right? Your neighbors, even if you don't know them well, go get to know them a little bit better. Old neighbors, your current coworkers, your old coworkers, acquaintances might even be people that um, you just met through the PTA. Maybe you know that there are, there are parents of your kids' friends that you can network through. Sometimes they have money. Sometimes they are good private investors or partners. I would say many times they are going to be some of your best private investors. They don't necessarily have the wherewithal, so either the desire, the knowledge, or the skills to go out and make this work, but you guys do. Especially if you join with us, that's what we do. We teach you how to go out and do all of these things, how to, how to work with the professionals in your area, mixed with some accountability on our side so that you can get these things done. These things require time and energy, and some of your coworkers want to invest, but they don't know how. Some of your neighbors want to invest, but they don't know where. Some of your acquaintances know how to invest, but they don't have the time or energy. Hopefully you get the point. There are people out there that need to be good partners for you, and you guys can be the movers and the shakers that get the stuff done. That's how I did, uh, I, I never actually counted, but I had a partnership. There were three of us, and that's all that we did for seven years was partner with other people. We'd go out and find private investors or partners who would split the deal, so they'd either back it, they'd either back the deal and get a percentage of the, the deal, or they would come in as actual partners, decision-making partners, and split the profits. So I know that you guys can find the people that will help you to get the deals done, even if you don't have any of your own money. Now, some of my favorite properties are the bank-owned properties because they're simple. So without spending tons of time on why tonight, I'm gonna to give you the couple of bullet points. Number one, they've already been through that really long foreclosure process. It's much more simple than going through a short sale to have the bank already have cleaned the slate and put the property back on the market. Now that's what is a bank owned property. The bank has officially foreclosed, taken the title back, and now they own that property and they're selling it. I really like that. 